I'm here with uh, Jim N5MIJ and Bill N5ZPR. They're from Texas and they have set up a DSTAR system. If you could tell us a little bit about uh, DSTAR first, so what is it? DSTAR is a protocol. DSTAR is a new networking implementation. ICOM has the first set of radios out for DSTAR. DSTAR is a protocol, but what type of uh, radios do you use? We use ICOM ID1 mobiles with the RP1 repeater system. Uh, we've been testing this for about a year and a half now. We're learning a lot along the way. We're driving around town now with a, the functional equivalent of an ISDN line in the vehicle with us. 128K mobile data plus digital voice. This PowerPoint presentation that you're seeing right now did not exist before we left town to come up here. We literally built this presentation on the road on the way up here with people in two different vehicles linked via D-Star for data capabilities. Transfer for information, sharing the PowerPoint presentation back and forth, and then using a UHF radio for voice communications to say, no, that doesn't look quite right, do this to it. And we had the graphics team in one vehicle with Bill, and then content team in my vehicle. Bill and I were driving, so we're trying to tell them how to build this presentation. Literally sharing the data between two vehicles driving down the freeway. So it's basically a repeater that has voice and digital for um, normal voice like a repeater, but also digital for something like the internet. Correct. It actually, the data is actually internet data. You don't have to use it, but you can do internet data from the vehicle. So how would it work as far as talking to somebody digitally? Um, do you call up like a normal repeater and ask for a call sign, or how, how would that work? It works just like any other repeater does. Okay. As far as that application is. So now this is wireless internet, you say. How fast is it and, and how far can you go with it as far as a, a radius? We're seeing about 30 mile radius right now. We're on a very tall building in Dallas. We're up about 900 feet above ground level. It's all run at 1.2 gigahertz, so it is line of sight communications. Uh, how well does uh, 1.2 gigahertz work? Well, the bandwidth required for data is going to prevent having quite the same range that you would have with voice. The voice we have found to be about the same as the analog repeater on 1.2 and very similar to 440 radio. We don't get quite the range we do on 2 meters or 440, for example, but we don't have anywhere near the congestion or the interference problems either. So tell me, why, why would you guys get into this? It's new. You can see what we ended up with for a very effective implementation. New technology, new concepts. There are lots of capabilities and opportunities here. We have figured out lots of things we can do with both the high speed and the low speed data. Obviously, an internet connection available in the vehicle as you drive around town lets you do lots of things. The low speed data can happen simultaneously with the voice. There's some interesting possibilities there for what goes on, where you can go broadcast weather warnings, radar, all sorts of things you can distribute that way. This is not IRLP. This is not echo link. This is very specifically routed information. We're still learning it. If you don't go into it expecting IRLP or something like that, you can be very surprised and have a lot of fun with it. This, ca this capability of throwing data to a mobile is something we've never had before. We're going to find all sorts of applications in emergency communications, interconnection of different com command posts, moving data, coordination of special events. So do you have a, a backup generator up at the repeater site so that if uh, power goes out, you guys have wireless internet still? Yes. All run by UPS and generators. We'll run for more than 24 hours in the event of an emergency at this site. Wow. And it, what about uh, controlling the unit? You've got a few things to deal with in, the, in setting your radio up where it, where it's uh, configured correctly, but beyond that, it's no different. You Great. Just, just talk. All right, well, guys, thank you very much again. I appreciate your time. Thank you, Trevor. D-Star's real interesting product, and we uh, hope to hear from, more from you in the future. No Thanks a lot.